Hey guys, Lyra Lynx here, and I'm finally back with another part of Pokemon Shield. My classes will not start until Wednesday, which finally gives me time to play a little bit, and I'm super excited about it. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them unusual st useful stuff. Never mind. I would prefer unusual stuff. This house is just so pretty. Oh my goodness. Thanks for the potion, bro. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP, their hit points, get slow. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Wait. Did you just break the fourth wall? Okay. If you ever get lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty town map. It actually helps me out all the time because I'm bad at directions in real life and video games. All around here is just quiet countryside, but wait until you see a big city. It'll take your breath away. And time for house invasion. <laughs> Say hi to the squirrel Pokemon. That rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab. But if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home, down the far end of Route 2. And nothing else for me here. I'm ex I'm so excited to play this. Uh, Wooloo is so adorable. Whoops. <laughs> I don't mean to talk again. I've just remembered what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon lab. On the opposite side is the station. Cool. I don't really need to bother over here yet then, do I? Hello. I saw Leon at the station. He had such a powerful presence, I recognized him before he even got close. The Charizard pose. Just doing the pose along with Leon makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. I just feel like investigating anyway before I even go to see the professor. Ooh, Pokemart. You know... No Pokeballs? Eh. Eh. I'm good then, bro. The world you see out the window of a train. It never stops changing. Isn't it lovely? Something like that. Alright. Enough fooling around. It's time to go out here. And I wish that my camera would stay in focus better. Got your Pokedex from Sonia? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Lyra. Bet you've never been inside one. What does it matter if I have or haven't? <laughs> I'm still going to kick your butt, and you'll need this more than I will. Level with me, Lyra. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> if you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers. I'm already good, though. I'm heading to Route 2, Lyra. Come find me, maybe, when you're done here. Sure. Will do, Hop. Let's rest the Pokemon that I have so far. This team is going to change drastically, because I've just been catching whatever's in my path. I'm so excited to form my team. Thanks for waiting. Sobble and the rest of your team should be all better now. Woo! This is so weird. Wow. Hello, Rotom. No, thank you. Rotom is shaking over the world. Awesome. And... Oh. Whoops. I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They'll fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need for free. 
Do you have the same options? Yep. I'm good, brother. Alright. Did I talk to you? This month's birthday horse would go spot on. Hmm, do you want me to tell you your fortune too? Sure. Okay, in that case, can you tell me the month you were born? I am a Leo. <laughs> Next, I need to know what day you were born. The third. Ho oh, oh. ho. I got it. So your birthday is 803. Yep. So you were born on 803. Your future is. Let's see here. Hmm? What's this stain here? Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. Ahem. People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon. Or maybe not. So anyway, see you later. She does not seem like she knows what she's doing. In the morning, my Pokemon wakes me up and in the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine a life without Pokemon. If you're looking for the Pokemon Professor, you can usually find her at her lovely home by the lake, enjoying the slow life. Berries, I've got your fresh picked berries. What do you say, interested in something? Oh, that's cool. I heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer, just like Leon. Eh. He's, uh, he's aight. He's nothing compared to this one. Having a meal with your Pokémon makes food taste extra good. It's fun to do some shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. We'll have to see about that. Hmm. Oh? Huh. Whoa. I really could just... Hmm. None available. I think I'll mess with this later then. Yeah, I'm done sh Okay. It'll be a later adventure to customize myself. Which I definitely should do. But for now, I'm gonna not run into things and go talk to Hop. Listen, Lyra, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? Please focus, camera. The gym challenge. The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. Not a problem. I feel like this game is gonna take me forever to complete just because I'm gonna wanna like talk to everybody. Sonia and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... Oh. Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on practice matches. Yeah, I just like getting through all the dialogue and stuff, I guess. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. Basics for Pokemon Trainers Lesson 1 The Pokemon at the top of your team will be the first one to enter battle. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to talk to you again. Basics for Pokemon Trainers Lesson 2 Don't forget to record your progress often. Basics for Pokemon Trainers Lesson 3 If a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move's power increases. You don't have to tell me about saving. I save because I have anxiety. You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? 
That's where the Pokemon professor lives. Isn't that neato? Wait, what's this? Oh, hello. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this landscape is so... Mm. Mm, look at these stairs. Mm. <laughs> look at the water! Oh my gosh! I'm such a sucker for pretty water animation. Oh, yes. Okay. Gotta keep going. Hello, Hop. Over here, Lyra. Alright, Lyra. It's time we filled in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokémon if you've got any hope of filling in that Pokédex. Lee, where'd you come from? Only... Look at... Only look at you, little Lyra. You've already caught some on your own. Your mom gave you those Pokéballs, didn't she? I'll give you some more Pokéballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokémon. The Pokémon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? Twenty Pokéballs! Awesome! The Pokémon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokémon too. And of course, they get experience points from battle. So take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokémon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Not a problem, my dude. I will be coming after you. Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokémon. The professor will be shocked when he sees. Wait, did that really say he? Wait, did that say he or did it say she and I'm just crazy because I'm pretty sure that the professor is... Professor Magnolia, an old woman. And here we go, we've got Nickit. This is the Pokémon that I'm thinking about having on my team. And so, I'm gonna try to not kill it, but y you never know, we're just gonna use a pound. Oh, that's totally fine. I want you so much. Please. You are so cute. Uh, I guess I'll try now. Yeah, Pokeballs. Please. Please give me naked. Uh, yeah. Well, there we go. I've got one potential team member. <laughs> Alright, now I need to figure out what I want to nickname her. Nickit, cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with swipes of its tail and makes off with its plunder. Gives me purloin vibes. So, what do I name this? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, guess I'll come back when I figure it out. Alright, so I went with a pretty basic nickname for Nickit. Ooh, it's a Yamper. I want one so bad. Kinda want one on my team. But yeah, I went with a very basic nickname. Nickit became Nikki. <laughs> so, yeah. And now, I am going to add a Yamper to my team because, um, yes, I need this sweet electric corgi to be a part of my life forever. Boltund is pretty cute too, although I do prefer Yamper's design over. Come on. My pounds are not doing a lot. I just went back to the Pokemon Center to cure Sobble of paralysis and all that, and now I'm just, like, gonna get my butt handed to me again. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> it's always a slow process to catch Pokemon at first. Come on, Yamper. I want you on my team. 
Oh gosh, don't do this to me. I'm gonna have to go back to the center all over again. Alright. Please be captured. Come on. Yeah. Now I'll have another team member that I don't know what to nickname. Uh. Hmm. This gluttonous Pokemon only assists people with their work because it wants treats. As it runs, it crackles with electricity. Okay, I will call you. I don't even care. I know that like when it evolves, it thins out. <laughs> like it doesn't look like a chonker anymore, but we gon' call it chonker. <laughs> Oh, not chunk at no. Yes, yes, chunker. <laughs> and we are going to get rid of you. I don't really like school of it. Alright. Well there we go. I did catch a Galarian Zigzagoon really quick off camera. And I'm going to make sure that I heal my team here, just so that Sobble doesn't get destroyed. I kind of love her. I don't want to see bad things happen to her. And I'm not sure if these Pokemon will stay since they're so early game. I don't know if I'll keep both Yamper and Nickit, but right now it's kind of what I want. We'll we'll see how it all ends up, but I feel like at least one of those two might stay with me till the end now, if not both. It's always weird, because I tried to map out the kind of team that I want in my head, but it'll always end up being different, so I don't really know why I even bother. Oh, hello. That's Chudo. Oh. You're cute. You're so ugly, you're cute. <laughs> okay. I need this boy too. Yes, please. Why are you gonna use water gun against me? That's not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna pound you again. And then I'm going to capture you. I might have used a Dredna on my team if I would have picked anything besides Sobble. But I just don't feel like that's the wisest choice, so... We're gonna see whatever I end up with. Woo! Yeah! Everybody's leveling up. Alright. Choodle. It starts off battles by attacking with its rock-hard horn, but as soon as the opponent flinches, this Pokémon bites down and never lets go. Sounds a lot like... Croconaw. <laughs> Aww. Yamper's so cute. You don't see shinies in the overworld here, do you? You just have to figure it out. Well... I thought I'd look because I am overly hopeful that I might find a shiny as quickly as some other people in this game. I feel like left and right I just see videos of people who are like so easily getting shinies in here and I'm just like, how? How even? <laughs> how are the odds so much in your favor? Usually I don't get shinies till close to end game, if not the post game. Lately, my luck has been maybe, like, slightly better. I was able to use a shiny on my team for the first time in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Not that I didn't catch, like, two Pokemon in, like, Pokemon Y that were shinies, but they just didn't really fit into my team, so I didn't get to use them. I feel like me 
scatterbrained and running around looking at every Pokemon to see if it'll be a shiny is something I should save for a different time. Hello! Are you our first battle? What up? It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Cool. Let's go then, youngster Jake. What you got? You got the ugly new squirrel Pokemon. Okay. Well. I will obliterate you gladly then. That did more than I expected, honestly. Alright. Get out of my way. Awesome. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Ha, which means you always get your ass handed to you. Alright, I'm gonna check the Nicket, why not? Nope. We have a normal boy here. So we run. We run far away. <laughs> After grabbing the Pokeball. Two potions. And what lies around here? Another one. Three Pokeballs. Continuing downward. Yellow. Cute and strong. Together in combination. Let's go last, Lauren. I mistakenly thought that maybe you'd be the rival. Or at least people were making comments on the trailer I saw thinking that maybe she was the rival character. And I was sad because she's not. <laughs> and we get Hop instead. And I'm not sure if I like Hop because already he just feels like a reused character and I'm, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I'm also not feeling that critical hit that she just got on me, dang. Excuse you. I can't lose. I'm the one who's going to become champion. Uh, these battles are so awkward in the beginning until you start to like, gain some strength and advantage. It's always a weird experience. I mean fun, but like, to just start a Pokemon game fresh, a new one again. <laughs> Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a ways to go. It's also different for me doing it in this playthrough style, and I don't really always know exactly what to talk about and make it interesting for everybody, so I hope you'll bear with me as I learn to do this better. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you! Listen, I've already owned Hop. If he beat you, then I'm guaranteed to beat you. <laughs> You're using a blip bug for goodness sake. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I really should heal up Yorona a little. Bam. Blip bye. Okay. We're not doing so bad. Nicket, switch po- Nah, I'm just gonna use Sobble. That's fine, you send in Nicket. I'm not scared. I am going to use a potion because I don't want my baby to faint. <laughs> I love her so much. I'm still so happy that my Sable ended up being female. It makes me so happy. I feel like that it fits the final evolution better as well. It was so awkward playing through Sun and Moon <laughs> with my male Primarina. Some Pokemon just feel like they lean a little bit more masculine or feminine, so I like to... 
Not that like those stereotypes should necessarily be applied, but mm, if I feel like a Pokemon might be more fitting in one gender or another, I usually tend to kind of look for one that fits that. <laughs> Although there is something really fun about, like, <laughs> a really feminine looking Pokemon that's male or this and that. It is funny to just throw it out. <laughs> Lose to wild Pokemon. Lose to many trainers. Sorry, kid. I just destroyed your whole career and you're not even an adult yet. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. What was that? Something looked sparkly for a second over there. I don't know what it was, though. Okay, we're gonna run from you. There's no points. I've already got one. Oh, wait. This is what's sparkly. Hello. How do I... There we go. Repel. Excellent. Anything over this way? Oh, it's so pretty! It's so pretty. I'm just going to fangirl over every detail. Look, there's the professor. So you have unraveled all the secrets of... So have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Ooh. We're gonna meet her. Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Ooh, here we go. Why, Hop, dear, I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be Lyra. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Lyra? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokémon. There are other things that are worth knowing about, too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. You sound like my sister. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Lyra only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant- Oh, never mind. I just thought because Hop was so excited that it was him. Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Alright. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Lyra. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna see how that goes. Ooh. <laughs> Time to battle Leon. This house is so cool. Everything about this game just looks so nice. That is one thing that I do want to praise about this game. Hurry up, Lyra. You've gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Okay. Oh. Because even though I obviously haven't played through all of this yet, I've seen some stuff and I've had some complaints, but it really is a genuinely 
beautiful game, just in like all the background appearance and everything. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. I would love nothing more than to slam you down again. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. My goodness. I will knock you out of here. Be cocky while you can be. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. I don't like dialogue like that that disappears without you clicking, because like, I'm not always able to read it that fast. Generally it's fine, but like, dang, I hate that. <laughs> I also hate when my camera won't focus, but it's all good. We've already almost got Wooloo beat. Goodbye. Sorry, Wooloo. And now my team can grow. Boom. Yes, everybody gets stronger. Score Bunny. I am keeping my current Pokemon. What better Pokemon could I possibly use against another rival that picks a weaker Pokemon than you? Like anyone wants that. We never asked for this. Well, look at you. It seems you've really learned your type matchups. Uh, yeah. And now it's probably fine to just use Pound. Or have a taste of our true power. Our flames are burning bright. I, uh, I thought that would be enough. I guess I should have just stuck to Water Gun. Maybe I'm the one who's getting cocky. But get out of here. Bam. Ooh, and more experience. Man, I feel like Sobble's already going to evolve soon. We're gonna get rid of Growl. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> Bam. Water Pulse. Coolio. Please focus. Is there more? Rookity. I am still going to fight. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. How is this close at all, bro? This is not even close. Some of this dialogue. Like... <laughs> I feel like I should not be criticizing it so harshly, but at the same time... Oh... Goodbye, Rookity. And I win again. Oof. Got it that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to do better with, like, making these videos and cameras and stuff, but this is really difficult to get to stay, honestly. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Well, Leon? Endorse us. <laughs> immediately. Lyra, hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Why did I say it like that? Champion. Woo! Yeah! We got an endorsement! Yeah! Yes! Thanks, Lee! I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. 
You may both be young still, and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things like that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd been worried about... I'd been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems like you really have grown a bit, little brother. He clearly hasn't grown if he's still doing the thing that you're criticizing him for doing. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokémon battles out of you too, Lyra. Alright, Lyra. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokémon will grow. Huh! What's that? Oh? Oh? Ooh, pretty. Hello. What's going on? Ooh. Wow. Lyra, would you look at this? The wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. How did those just happen? to fall at the perfect moment for the two of us. What are these? What do they do? Ooh, interesting. With one of these, my Pokémon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes! Okay, that makes sense. So it's virtually a Mega Ring, then. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? I will be the greatest trainer ever. I WILL be the greatest trainer ever! I WILL BE THE GREATEST TRAINER EVER! <laughs> oh god. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Nope. I will destroy your whole career. Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have in the Galar region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. Ah, oh, right. You've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, have you? Oh, was that the professor the whole time? It's so hard for me to figure out who's speaking here. I wish that they would clarify. Then please, give Lyra and me the power to Dynamax our Pokémon. First we got to battle against that mad Pokémon in the slumbering wield, and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Yeah, I wish that they would just have a little text that would say their names before they speak. Seems they came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Hop is excited to eat. I feel that. That's a mood, at least. That's the one thing I can agree with him on. Oh. Here we go. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challenges. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokémon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Er, well, there was this weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokémon appeared. Lyra tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right fount of information you are. Lyra, hop, these are for you. Oh, this is the- Ah! I get so confused! There's like maybe a little bit of mouth movement before they come at you. Please, just clarify who's speaking for me. <laughs> Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokémon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokémon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokémon. That will help fill out your Pokédex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. 
Come on, Lyra, I'll beat you to the station. Everything's a competition, huh? Well, I guess let's go. Wow, I'ma be dumb and get stuck. One last thing before we race, Lyra. See, I've got some great advice for you. Oh? You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wandering about out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow-like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Pl press the left stick. Try it out and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Lyra. Wait. You remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before. That'll be the goal, so see you there! Wait, so if I whistle in real life, does it do it? Or do I just actually have to press the left stick? Hey, Amper. You are not shiny boy. <laughs> but I might fight you just to make Yorona a little stronger. Or mm, this is gonna take forever, so no, not with the Amper. Although I would like to get Yorona evolved since. It's not going to take too much more. Oh, a wandering yamper. It's just so cute. I'm sorry, I can't res resist running into them. Oh, too cute. But now I got to keep going. Or do I? <laughs> Me, just like desperately hoping that one of them will just be shiny. I'm gonna waste like all of my time just trying to run into everyone that I see. There's no point. <laughs> just like called after me like where are you going and goodbye if they aren't shiny or a Pokemon I haven't caught yet then they can leave me alone And is there a name for the new type of shiny? What is it, like ultra shiny with the boxes that spring out? I keep seeing videos, so many people are getting them and it's just so cool. And I want, <laughs> I want so bad. I really hope that I'm going the right way. Yep. Come on, Lyra, you'll never beat me to the station at that pace. Well, there are other things I want to do, <laughs> like search for shinies. <laughs> Way too early in the game. All right, so I think that I will end this episode here. I know that I didn't do a ton, but hopefully from here on out, I'll try to make more progress in videos. But you know, also, I'm just very invested in exploring this game. And I've wanted nothing more than to just play it, but I also wanted to be able to do a playthrough for the first time and have all my reactions be, like, as genuine as possible. It's impossible for me to avoid spoilers, and I love Pokemon too much not to check into things, so here I am. But please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I really hope to see you in another video. Goodbye.